How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel Pete's Carport. We're going to dive right back into our project car, Dr. Dre. It's a 1995 Mercedes S500 W140. And if you've been watching this at all, you know I removed the catalytic converter and did some other exhaust modifications. Now, we removed those secondary cats because the car was hesitating when taking off and it resolved it. But the issue is kind of back. Now, I still think those cats were clogged because the issue is kind of here and there. So, I'm thinking right now that we need to change out the fuel filters. I did an oil change. I'm looking through all the fluids and I know that a lot of this stuff just hasn't been changed in a while. So we're gonna dive into the easiest things. We're gonna check fuel, we're gonna check spark, but I think this fuel filter change is going to fix our issue. Now, ironically, I kinda had a similar issue with my past 95 Mercedes S500 that we called Barney. You guys know it very well. I had picked up a fuel filter at some point and it made its way into the back of my parts. So I was going through a lot of parts yesterday and I found this, looked it up and it does work on a 95 S500, which is what we have here. So this is the part number. It's a CarQuest part. It looks like this, it's very dusty because I've had this for a long time. And it's a pretty simple change. So we're gonna start with that, see if that fixes our issue. Of course, I've said it's kind of sporadic. So I hope we notice something right away. We're also gonna add some additives to our fuel. I've already went ahead and changed the oil, but I'm gonna show you guys that because it was really, really thick, really, really dark, and I think it was just really, really old. The filter was already falling apart in it, so I'll show you guys that. It was kind of bad. But we've got that all changed out, and I plan on doing a, another oil change very quickly, and I think I'm gonna add some Marvel Mystery Oil and maybe some other stuff in there to clean out the system. But let's get into this. I'll show you guys how you can do this at home. It's very simple. It's a very common thing that gets clogged up. And a lot of people just don't think about the fuel filter. So let's dive in and get this taken care of. First, you need to jack the car up on the passenger side towards the rear. Make sure to use jack stands for safety and to secure the car. Once you slide under the car, you will see a plastic cover plate located right here. Once you remove this plate, you will see the filter as well as the fuel pump. You need to remove these two 10 millimeter nuts here, as well as one towards the rear. So guys, whenever working on an older car like this that you do not know the full history on, especially with common parts like fuel pumps and fuel filters, expect that somebody could have went in there and modified some things. And that's what we're seeing down there. At least I think so. Now, let me know in the comments if when we get down there, I'll show you again if this is exactly how the fuel system should look. So this is the filter I had. I cross-referenced it. It said it would work on a 95, but this is an inline fuel filter that does not connect uh, through a threaded line. The one down there has a threaded line going to it. Now, as we get down here, you're gonna see it's definitely been modified. I mean, there's zip ties up in there. And um, you can see here, that's an upgraded hose line from what I know. Now, I know it was a very common modification that if you had a dual fuel pump system, one, of, one or both of the fuel pumps failed that you would switch it to a single fuel pump system. And I'm guessing that this fuel filter is the one that mounts to that. And possibly I do have the right fuel filter up there for the inline part, but they had to change this all out because that braided line looks like an upgraded thing as well. All done very nicely. They secured it up in there nicely, but you can definitely see there is room for a second fuel pump up there and obviously our wiring for a second fuel pump. I thought the 95 was a single fuel pump, but like I said, I'm still learning on these cars. I changed mine out completely on my R129, but that is a 91 and it did have a dual fuel pump system and it had a different fuel filter from what I remember. So let me know in the comments if this whole thing's been changed out, if you own a 95 or if you're familiar with the 95. Now I've just got to figure out what fuel filter that is so I can swap it out. Hopefully there's a part number on there and I can pick it up today. So guys, it's the next day and I just got this in from Advance Auto. They had to order it from their distribution center and it looks like it's been there for quite some time. What I had to do was look up a 97 Mercedes S500 and ironically, even the facelifted version had the option for a threaded end or the prong end. Very confusing to me. I'm sure somebody's gonna fill me in, but I found online, we went up to the store and they were able to order it based on the part number I found. 
and I'm hoping that this is gonna be the exact one that's up in there because I could not find any part number or anything on the one that they installed, whoever installed it. So this looks to be around the same size as the one down there and it have threaded ends on both ends. So let's get under there and see what we could do. It's getting dark already because it gets dark around five o'clock, but I'm gonna see if I can get this out. I know it's gonna be a little messy because of the threaded ends. I gotta pull them off. Sure, I'm gonna spill gas everywhere, but let's see if we can get this up in there, fire her up and see if it makes a difference. That seems to be a little bit smaller, but it does seem to have the same ends. So let's go ahead and take her off. Okay guys, as I was pulling this out, I could see how nasty the gas was and how much it smelled. So if I pour it from this side, look at that. Oh my God, that is bad. Hopefully it doesn't look like that in the tank. But from this side when it was, oh yeah, it still is. Look at that, oh man, that is bad. Ugh. So when I undid the line, the gas that came down did not look bad. So I'm hoping that nothing is in the tank, but man, that filter was real bad. See, these are one of the things that people forget to change out. I'm gonna go ahead now and see if we can fire this up. Hopefully this doesn't just clog that filter up, but if it does, we can drain the tank and put another filter in. Let's go ahead and fire her up. Make sure you throw in some fuel cleaner just in case those injectors get a little clogged. Also, swap out that fuel filter, especially this car's been sitting for a while and I guarantee you there's some gunk in that tank. I'm gonna go ahead and add a bunch of fuel additive to it. Now, run this car for a while, let this tank burn down, add a new fresh tank in there, swap that filter out and we'll go ahead and take a look at how that filter looks on one of these upcoming videos. I hope you guys learned a little bit by this because I kind of did too. I didn't realize I was gonna run into an issue with that fuel filter. Wasn't that big of a deal. I was able to order that in, get it in next day. It took me like five minutes to swap that out. So a very easy job, about a $30 part, and it could fix a lot of your problems with a hesitating car. I hear it all the time from you guys. My car's not running right, it's idling bad, no check engine light. You guys start with the uh, Spark, which is a great place to start, but I always say start with the easiest and cheapest. I'm gonna move on to probably even swapping these spark plugs out just because I don't know the history of this car. I know it had been sitting for a while and I'm just gonna go through these regular maintenance things. You guys have an awesome day, a blessed week. I'm excited to take this car out for a drive now. See you on the next episode. So one thing I forgot to mention and did not expect is that my gas gauge was not working and it is now working. I let this car idle for a while, get up to temp. It is idling absolutely beautiful, revving amazingly. And I am excited to drive this car. All my dash lights are off, my AC is working. When I got this car, it was a complete disaster. It was barely running and we brought it back to life, guys. We're gonna continue to do stuff to this car, and I hope this encourages you guys to get working on your W140. See you on the next one.